Hello guys, so now we are at this, uh, how do you call it? Cheap shops, outside shops. Yeah. Basically, I like this bag. It looks very good. So I'll buy it for only six euros. Six euros? Yeah. That's the same bag. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. If it is your first time watching one of my videos, you are most definitely welcome to my channel. Please click on the subscribe button down below and click on the notification button as well to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are watching this video from Facebook, my name on YouTube is Melis Lifestyle or you click on the link that will be listed up so if you have been to this place that i will be showing you in the video please make sure to comment down below and uh, tell me more about your experience how do you see this place is it the same thing like being in africa because when i went there i felt like i was in africa so i want to hear from your own perspective did you like the place how did you feel i mean like just comment down below and tell me okay and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well so without further ado let's just jump into the video in order to find ingredients for african cuisine in paris the go-to place is Chateau Rouge and Puis de la Montreuil. Chateau Rouge is located in the 18th district and uh, Puis de la Montreuil is located in the second square uh, de la Cologne. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, but this market operates every day except Monday. And uh, visiting this predominant African neighborhood in Paris is like stepping right into Marché Central in Cameroon. I mean, or maybe uh, any other um, busy market in your country. See, your eyes will instantly take in the colorful area of fresh foods, fresh uh, vegetable, fresh products. I mean, like everything fresh, fresh, fresh. And uh, the street is pretty much busy like you can see in the video everybody are rushing to go and get whatever they want to get all in all in all you will love this place guys yeah basically i like this bag it looks very good so i'll buy it for only six euros six euros yeah that's the same bag so if you're going there make sure that you have cash with you if not I am sorry, you won't be able to buy anything. Like I was saying, guys, you know when you go to Africa and you want to go to the market, obviously in Africa, like the busy African market that you know, you won't be able to pay for tomatoes with maybe a cart or something. You definitely need to have cash. It is the same thing in these places. I mean, like people will say that uh, it is France, it is Paris. Why are they, why are they not taking cart and so on? Like I think that the main purpose of people settling this place as an African market is because they wanted people to feel free, feel at home. Because definitely in Africa, you you can't buy any thing with cart like you know. So I really really love this place. Like you can buy everything. I mean everything that you want <laughs> i couldn't believe my eyes when i reached there because a lot of people talking about this place and i was just like i just need to go there and see for my eyes because hearing people talking about it i mean people think paris i mean like yeah france is very big okay and paris is very very beautiful as well but you have to visit this particular place called chateau rouge or this um plus uh, de la montreuil you will feel at home i mean the extra the extraordinary density of businesses activities in the neighborhood mask large scale daily mobility flows that contain that connect it to other uh, residential and commercial 
spaces are really amazing so taking it all through this crowded open air market is what i experienced as one of the busiest parts of paris i mean of course what also what also make this market rather characteristic is the scope that exists for the unpredictable to happen at any given moment i mean what i saw there guys the police came and everybody were running like <laughs> everybody took their things that they were selling on the floor and they started running typical african market do you like do you get what i what i mean see if you have never been to these places you have to go there it's just amazing you understand so me visiting this place was the best the best experience i have ever done in europe because a lot of people were talking about this place and i was wondering how is this place i mean like i I have never, ever, ever imagined that France or Paris could have this African, this African vibe, you understand? So when I landed, eh, I was amazed. The way, I mean, the way the things were being placed and the way people bargain on things, I mean, like, I was I was I was I was shocked. I was just like, wow, this is really Africa. I felt like I was in Marche Central, Douala, Cameroon. You guys, if you have already been to this place, just comment down below and tell me your experience and tell me if you will ever go there again. Because as for me, I am definitely going back there because the things I saw there, I saw Nike shoes, Adidas, all type of bags. Hopefully, it's not fake though. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not fake. But if it is like secondhand, it is okay. Because you guys, you need to visit this, this place. It is really amazing. And everything, like the things are, the things are so cheap. And I just, I just stood a minute and I was just like, God, where in God's name are they taking all these things from? How? How? Where? You guys. I love this place. I felt like I was in Africa. I felt like like this is the place I am supposed to be right now at this given time. You understand? But you guys, I really love this place. And uh, I kind of envy those people that live in France now because I feel like they have all the opportunity, every food that they want to eat. I like I mean, I live in Sweden and uh, there is a very, 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 very big difference when it, when it comes to, to these two countries because Sweden, you can't see anything on the floor. But when I landed in this market, I was just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, guys, make sure that, uh, to, that you like this video. Comment down below. Tell me if you have ever been to this place in Paris or if you are even planning to go there and um, watch my other Paris vlog and make sure to comment, like the video, share. And you that is watching from Facebook, please, please share this video. And I want the world to know that we in in europe are able to eat african food okay and that this place exists in paris okay thank you for watching my video like the video as well thank you bye